In the following tutorial, we're going to take a look at the 3D tools of Illustrator CS5. So let's create a new document. I'm going to use the 1024 by 768 style. And uh, the different things we're going to be using are under the Effect menu, 3D, Extrude and Bevel, Revolve, and Rotate. We're going to start with Rotate because it's the easiest of the 3D tools. So let's begin by creating just a very simple box, maybe. I'm going to hold down the Shift key. I'm going to give it a color as well. And then I'm going to add some text. And I'm just going to type in box over the top of it. And that text is going to be kind of large. That way it kind of fits across. All right. So now I'm ready to try the 3D tools. Let's select both of those items. Go to Effect, 3D, and choose Rotate. Now when we click on the preview, we'll be able to see that as we rotate it. As you start to rotate, notice how the box lifts up the text, lifts, lifts off of the graphic, if I can say that correctly. Um, it's because of the fact that they're seen as different Z depths. And that's just something when you, when you select separate objects and use this tool, it often views them in um, different levels. Notice how far they are here. And then when I flip it around, it seems like they're not quite as far on the other side. It's kind of interesting how when you lift, move this around, it appears to be closer or further from the object and even behind the object or in front. It's kind of strange. Just takes a little bit of getting used to. Anyway, we can also add some perspective to this by clicking on perspective and dragging that back a little bit. Be aware that it might be possible to add too much perspective because as, as you move it, you'll notice it cuts off that edge if you rotate too much with with a lot of perspective to it. But anyway, it's kind of cool anyway that you can add this perspective at all. Anyway, let's click OK. And you'll notice that I now have these objects and they still are separate objects so you can see I can move them separately. Now if we go to the appearance menu, you'll notice that I have my appearance right here, 3D rotate opacity, and I need to uh, set that back to essentials so that I can see the next thing here, which is my graphic styles. Because my graphic styles will enable me to actually save this 3D preset for later. In the Appearance menu, I can see the Stroke, Fill, and 3D Rotate. And what the graphic styles allows us to do is save those appearances for later. So I've just gr dragged that green box over there. And now I could create another box, even if it was a different color to start off with. As soon as I apply that graphic style, it will give it the same color with the same stroke settings and the same 3D rotation. And then you might have to go to it and change the color if you wanted to have a different color for yours. Or of course, change your stroke if you wanted that to be different as well. So um, just be aware with your graphic styles, you can't just save your 3D style as a preset. It also has to save the stroke and fill settings of that object. Anyway, I'm going to come back to this and remove those styles. So let's go to the Appearance menu, click on that 3D Rotate, and drag it to the trash, or just rather click on the trash after you've clicked on 3D Rotate. And now I'm going to create another box and put it behind. That's with the Control, Shift, and the right bracket. So we can see that that's definitely behind. Now I'm going to select all three, go back to the Effect menu, 3D, Rotate. And notice when I try and rotate these objects, of course, they are all separated in 3D space. Well, we're going to change this a little bit by grouping the object first. So let's hit Cancel, and now Control-G will group the object, or you can right-click and choose Group. Now you'll see they all, all are one object. Now go back to the effect, 3D, Rotate, and you'll see they'll now rotate with one flat perspective. And this is going to be smart if you're doing something like a logo that you're trying to create um, this type of look with. The last thing is if you're going to be exporting this for future use, it's probably smart not to have these settings. So you can go to Object, Expand Appearance, or even Object, Flatten Transparency, and you will get a flattened version of these original objects where you can go in and edit the objects that are inside and you'll see that it's even cut holes. So anyway, save your work and uh, you are done with this tutorial, so go on to the next.